Hey, what's going on guys, Hex here, and today I thought we'd take a look at the Star Wars Black Series Kylo Ren voice changing helmet. So I have already basically put this together. It comes in a couple of different pieces here. So you get the back end and the front. You're also going to get this little thing, which I'm not going to use. But this is not going to be just a review on this helmet the way it is out of the box. It does look nice. I think it's probably one of the nicer helmets out there, even better than some of the customs that some people that are very talented, more talented than I am, are making. But we're going to take this helmet right here. And then we're also going to improve it to make it a little bit more screen accurate. Now, I do want to have the voice changing mechanism in there, which I will show that off. And we'll do a little test. And I want to improve that as well. And I've seen several people, they've done different videos on they did this to improve it. And someone else did something else. So I'm going to take a lot of these ideas that weren't originally mine. I'm going to put them all into one video. And I'm going to also do some customizations to the helmet itself. So uh, hopefully you enjoy the video. If you're just wanting to leave it just like this, then I will show you what it sounds like. And we'll take a look at this thing. So. Uh, as you can see, you do have some of this kind of gray paint um, kind of all over the helmet. You can see some up here going around here on the sides. And there's some lines here. This is something else that I want to make it look a little bit better. Uh, while it does look nice with these little scuffs, I think that if we buy some like little gray paints or gunmetal paints, probably want to use gunmetal, which we will do that as well. So you're kind of looking at it, what it looks like out of the box. I will show you after I finish that. So it's going to take me a, you know, a few little edits to make this video, but hopefully it's worth it and you guys enjoy it. Uh, that way you can follow along as well. Uh, but I'm going to kind of go over these and just kind of make them look a little bit better, uh, as you can kind of see here. It also has some dents here. So a dent here, a dent back here. Over here, you can see kind of a nice dent, how it's kind of catching in the light as well. There's some kind of uh, more indentions right here and in the back. So a little stuff that I want to touch up and make it better. Now, there's a couple of different buttons on here. Uh, you do have the uh, power button, which is located right here. I don't have any batteries in there yet, so uh, I'll show you all that here in a bit. But you can just turn it on and off there. And then you have your pitch over here, so up and down so that's how you're going to basically control that uh, some of the things that i want to improve up on uh, these little black pieces that you see on the inside here uh, i was thinking that i was going to need to drill those out and they're the same on the other side but it looks like it might be a piece that i can just take away and if so then that's going to save me a lot of time and not have to take it to someone to drill out and worry about them like messing up my uh you know my nice chrome here uh, so that's something that I definitely, if there isn't a piece to take out, that I will have to drill out. Uh, just because in the movie, he didn't have these black pieces of plastic. It was actually like he had, um, you know, like black. Uh, I, I'm basically going to be using pantyhose. Uh, so, you know, something like that. And I'll show you what I bought and how much it costs to do these improvements. The other thing that you notice, uh, the eye shield here, uh, that it's reflect reflective i'm sorry it wasn't like that in the movie he also had kind of like pantyhose there and you're going to be able to see out of that and plus it's going to be dark in the helmet so probably one layer will do it good and you'll still be able to see out of it if not then we'll put a second layer and we'll hot glue that in uh, but that's basically the kind of changes that I want to make to the outside. Now, I know some people that they're buying this and they're not going to be using the voice changer because, uh, to be quite honest, I haven't plugged mine up, but I've heard a lot of other people's and it sounds pretty terrible. So I'm going to show some ways that we can maybe improve up on that. If you don't want to use that, then you do have these holes up here for the speaker, which I've seen some people, uh, they've just kind of... Uh, they, they've painted over this and they, they've, uh, you know, put some stuff in there, uh, like plaster and stuff to... Uh, Kind of make that look a little bit more full. Uh, but let's take a look at the inside of the helmet and kind of see what it looks like. So I, I've got a big head. And whenever I tried to uh, use this thing, uh, I didn't even try to readjust it. I was like, it's uncomfortable and it's not going to fit. And I'm just gonna, it's going to go back and forth. It feels cheap uh, to this because this is heavy. It's mostly front heavy because of, uh, you know, the electronics up here. Uh, but with the nose pieces, I've seen some people remove that. I actually like exactly where it is because it fits perfect where I want it to be. Uh, as you can see, there, here's the chrome pieces, and it looks like this is separate. So I'm going to try to just unscrew and take that out. I'm going to take out the visor as well. This mouthpiece, I think it uh, echoes, and kind of whenever you talk into it, it kind of you know gets the vibration of the rest of the plastic within the helmet, and it echoes. So that's contributing to making it sound the way that it does. Uh, so we're going to remove that. And here's what you need. I bought these pantyhose at Walmart, like five bucks. Um, I just, you know, 
I think I got a, yeah, in case I needed to use it, I, I got the like biggest size that I could. So in case I need to go over it again. Then I got this from Home Depot. Uh, it's just air conditioned <laughs> weather seal. Uh, and you got quite a bit of foam there and I got a hot glue gun. So uh, I'm gonna use this to put foam on the inside uh, towards the back and on the sides. Uh, the front, like I said, you know, where my head fits right here, it fits well. So I just need it on the back and the sides. So that way it fits a lot better, kind of like a baseball or football helmet. So that's something that I think is gonna improve that. And then I bought this at Walmart, uh, just in the craft section for 33 cents. Uh, that way I can like just cut little strips. I'm gonna wrap it around the microphone. I'm gonna put some extra kind of like hot glue, some padding in there to maybe try to absorb some of the extra noise. Even whenever I take this piece out, I wanna absorb as much background noise from my own voice as possible. That way it's more clear in the mic. And that's something that I haven't seen really a whole lot of people do. So we're gonna go ahead and cut to an edit and we're gonna go ahead and start taking this out. all right so here's how the helmet comes it comes in these two pieces right here what we're gonna do is use a phillips head uh right here and we're gonna be able to take this panel off and we're gonna put the battery all right back. so once you get this piece off you're gonna install the three double a batteries and then we're gonna put this piece back on and screw it back all right now that we got the batteries in place now we just need to put this together you want to go ahead and do a little quick sound check to make sure that you put them in there correctly you hear it come on so it, it even picks us up way from here, so go ahead and turn that off, and we'll just piece this together. So, I'll All right, so this is what it sounds like with the helmet on, but without the voice changer on. Uh, I'm going to start off at pitch one, and we'll kind of gradually go up from there, so you can tell the difference. I think from the very beginning that you're going to be able to hear my voice as well as the voice changer, and it's going to be distorted. You're going to hear a lot of echo from it, so we're definitely going to improve up on that, but for the first part of this video, uh, before we start doing all the customization to it, I want to make sure that I'm showing you what the helmet you get whenever you get it out of the box and you just want to put the batteries in and, uh, you know, maybe just a cool display piece or you don't care about, you know, messing with the helmet. So I wanted to definitely show that off. Uh, but first off, uh, let's start off with pitch one. Can you feel it? I feel it too. This is a pitch one. As you can hear my voice in the background as well as the voice at one point. I'm not speaking soft. I'm not speaking loud. This is just normal talking like I would if you were you know, right next to me and I was having a conversation with you. So this is what it sounds like. We're going to go up to pitch two. This is a pitch two. Uh, I think it amplifies the voice a little bit more. Uh, maybe it cuts down on some of my regular voice, but uh, that's, it's still distorted. Pitch three. This is a pitch three. And you can hear my breathing as well. And this is pitch four, which is just way too loud. You can hear it vibrates and echoes. So that pitch four, uh, I don't even know if it could go any higher than that, but that was ridiculous because even though I wasn't even breathing hard or talking anymore, it just kept on vibrating. And that's some of the stuff that I want to add that foam inside the helmet so maybe it can absorb and cut back some of that uh, background noise. I, I think pitch two is probably where we want to be at, but again, we need to make some improvements here but if you were want to just buy this out of the box and it'd be a cool display piece. all right so we basically taken all the screws out i just use this section here and just kind of divided them up so i know what screws go where whenever i'm trying to put everything back so uh just make sure that you remember what goes where and kind of leave a little outline for yourself uh so the first thing that we did is we took this out right here then i started taking these screws out i was having a little bit of trouble getting this one out so i took these two out and the top piece and this is able to come out so this first piece the mouth going to separate it this we're just going to get rid of it and then with this section here i want to keep the nose piece but I'll show you where the mic is the mic is right here 
and you can see this is where you would actually talk through it so what we're going to do is put a little bit of foam over that and just kind of like glue some foam uh all throughout here but we're going to leave this nose piece on just because it just fits really well with the way you know this whole helmet fits my head so leave that in place for right now this section go ahead and pull it apart you can see all the insides and stuff like that um with the speaker we might try to put some foam uh, around the uh, speaker part as well, but you can see all the electronics, basically the guts here. Uh, try not to uh, forget where everything goes. A uh, little hard to do on, on camera, but um, the pieces that we want to take out are the lens right here. So I believe we got all those. We should be able to just pull that out, yeah. Right there, so there's the uh, lens guard. We don't want that anymore, so we're gonna get rid of that. Basically, buy a helmet, and throw half of it away. Uh, then this section right here, the black section, we are going to take this and throw this piece away as well, or maybe not throw it away, but just put it in the box. Uh, this will attach back here. We'll put the screws back. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put some like foam in here to kind of muffle it a little bit and then we'll put the helmet back together. So All right, guys, I've added a couple of things here. As you can see that I've cut out some of the foam uh, just so I can and I had to cut around some edges because you want to make sure that you leave the spot for the screws to go back into the helmet. Also a place for the wire for it to come up through the top. And I've also cut and glued the pantyhose on the inside. This little white that you see on here, that's just the inside of a paper towel. No one's going to see that anyway. And I just didn't want to burn my fingers whenever I was pressing it up against there to make sure that I got a solid connection. So uh, the places that I glued uh, right here at this section here, uh, both over here and then here at the cheeks to make sure that it pulled down uh, at these bottom cheeks that those were there open at. Uh, here at the nose, this is right above where the eyes are. Uh, I didn't want to really paint, uh, glue too much on this chrome section. The only parts that I did were uh, these two sections. And then here at the very bottom, I glued there. So I think that gives you a pretty nice uh, you know, connection and look uh, for the helmet. As you can kind of see, uh, it, it does because we have that one spot right above where the nose is and also these two points and to the sides that it makes that like almost to the edge to where that's pretty close. I uh, do like that. Also where the black, it also covers up these little slots here, even the back one here and all these little holes going around here. So it made sure it covers those up and they're right up against uh, where this chrome or plastic is. So I think uh, if you just hot glue, and those spots then you'll have a pretty nice looking helmet here and now i know it's not that dark here but whenever we put the back of it on or whenever you have your head in there i mean no one's going to be able to see you i just use one layer if you want to do two you could probably do that uh but whenever you put the helmet on uh, it's going to be dark in there anyway and no one's going to be able to see you so uh, i think that that looks so much better uh, a couple of other things that uh, you know, I already pointed out that I did that with the electronics. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start putting this back together. One more piece, if I can find it here. Uh, this section here, uh, I think... I'm trying to figure out exactly the way I want to do this uh, for, for, you know, this little section here. But uh, I think that I... I'm just going to keep this together here and I'm just going to use like a spare piece of foam even though I got plenty of foam left and I'm just going to kind of wrap it around there. Maybe that'll muzzle it a little bit uh, and then I'll probably, you know, put in the foam for it to secure around my head. So uh, take a look at that here in a minute. All right, for our next step, uh, what I did is I ended up screwing in the nose piece. I got the wire coming around here, so uh, nothing really holding it into place, uh, but it just stays there really nicely just because of the way that it's attached there and just coming through there. So coming out through the side, you really don't even see it uh, whenever you look through the mask. So there's everything attached to that. Looking good. Uh, with this piece here, what I ended up doing, I've seen a lot of people like just take paper towel or something and like tape it around, but it seems like uh, that tape would kind of give you, I don't know, like a bazooka, you know, one of those sounds. So what I, what I did is I took this foam and I, instead of taping it, I hot glued it and I made sure that it was, you know, it's tight. It's not going to fall off or anything like that uh, unless I pull on it, but 
if I decided that, you know what, it doesn't sound as good as I thought, or there's someone comes up with an even better way, then I'm able to slide it off uh, just like so, and I didn't damage this whatsoever, so uh, or have any tape or anything, or glue it to the actual piece. So that's just something that uh, I wanted to point out. But so there is the front section uh, pretty much all done. Uh, I was thinking about maybe even adding some foam down here. Uh, so I might try that and see how it works. Uh, the next section that we need to do is the back. So with the foam, since we're not going to be using this, uh, what what I recommend and what I thought I'd kind of do is I need to wait until I put these two pieces together until I can really figure out where the foam needs to be. But instead of just gluing in there and being like, okay, that doesn't fit right or yeah, I got it right the first time. What I did is I just, you know, taped some pieces here at the top, back, and the sides. That way if I'm like, okay, maybe this needs to move over or down, you know, down in the back or something like that. That way I have it taped so I can adjust that. If it's perfect, then I'm going to go ahead and start hot gluing that in. So, uh... Let's see how uh, that goes. I'm going to go ahead and put it together, figure out where it needs to be, and then I'm going to hot glue uh, these foam pieces into that spot. All right, guys, now to look at the final product, or I'm still going to put some touch-up paint on it, but basically this is the Kylo Ren helmet the way that I want it to be. Uh, as you can see, uh, taken out the eyepiece, also took it out the black plastic pieces here on the side. Uh, that's basically what it looks like. And I, I know it's kind of maybe has like a little bit of a shine or red tint to it. It's it's all black. Trust me, whenever you look at it in hand, I think it's just um, catching the light off the monitor right now. But you can see that all the holes are covered up. Uh, it looks really nice in there. Uh, on the inside, uh, this is pretty much what it looks like. Again, you're not going to see those little white things, so they don't bother me any of uh, this little piece. So uh, we can take it off and on. Uh, whichever one we decide works better. Uh, I think it does work, you know, decent with that on. Uh, might put some more foam in here. Uh, but as far as the back, I uh, went ahead and super glued, or not super glued, but uh, hot glued those in. All I needed was the one up here and these two kind of here at the side. So we're going to go ahead and try out the voice changer, see how it works. And uh, you guys can let me know, you know, does it sound better? Uh, I know it fits better and it looks better, but does it sound better? So, uh Let's go ahead and give so that a shot. Final something that I wanted to do is try out the voice changer with the foam inside and taking out the mouthpiece as well. I've also taken out some of the other plastics, so maybe we can get less rattling around. Maybe we can even do a higher pitch than what we were able to do last time. I think it what it was four, where it started vibrating, even though I wasn't really breathing hard or talking, it was still vibrating the helmet. So let's see if this works out a little bit better. So turning it on. This is pitch one. I think that sounds a little bit better. At least you can make out the words. I'll try to talk a little bit softer. Grandfather, I will finish what you started. Been waiting for this for a long time. My name is Kylo Ren. My grandfather is Darth Vader. I've been waiting for this for a long time. My name is Kylo Ren. Captain Phasma, you speak. I've been waiting for this for a long time. My name is Kylo Ren. Grandfather, I will finish what you started. This is pitch five. I've been waiting for this for a long time. My name is Kylo Ren. All right, so kind of my final thoughts on that. Uh, putting that little muffler or that foam piece over, um, you know, part of the speaker here uh, where it's up top, and then also that one little bitty piece around the mic and also taking out the mouth guard. Uh, I think that it makes it even clear on three and four. I thought that those were the best two because it's still loud, so it can kind of carry over my, you know, personal voice. And I thought you could still kind of make out some of the words. I don't know. You guys let me know. But uh, here's a few little tips and tricks on, you know, how to kind of improve your Kylo Ren helmet if you want it to look more authentic and also improve the voice. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hopefully you are able to enjoy. 
and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.